now we'll see how to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for a simply support beam subjected to a point load w at the center of the beam where the length of the beam is l okay so it is shown in the figure this is a simply support beam one side is hinged support and the other side is roller support okay so first here in this the step one is calculation of support reactions calculation of support reactions this is the step one calculation of support reactions see this is a hinged support we know that hinged support can take two reactions one is vertical reaction and the other is horizontal reaction so here the this is a point a and this i am taking it as point c and this i am taking it as point c this is a and this is b and this is point c okay so this normal reaction here i am taking it as v a okay and here the horizontal reaction i am taking it as h a okay see this is a roller support we know that roller support can take only one vertical reaction that vertical reaction is also normal to the roller support therefore this reaction i am taking it as v c okay so calculation of support reactions see for calculation of support reactions we need to use the equilibrium equations we know that uh, for a yeah, structure which is in equilibrium we are having three equilibrium equations one is sum of all the horizontal forces are zero and next second one is sum of all the vertical forces are equal to zero and the third equilibrium equation is sum of all the moments about a point equal to zero now we will use those three equilibrium equations and we will find the values of VA, HA and VC. Okay. So first we will use sigma x equal to 0. See sigma x equal to 0 means sum of all the forces acting in x axis direction is equal to 0. Nothing but sum of all the horizontal forces are equal to 0. See all the forces acting in rightward direction is positive and all the forces acting in leftward direction is negative. Okay. Now apply this equilibrium equation on that beam. See here what are the horizontal forces? HA is the only horizontal force acting on this beam. Therefore, HA equal to 0. HA equal to 0. Next what is the second equilibrium equation? Sigma Y equal to 0. This is nothing but sum of all vertical forces equal to 0. That is nothing but sum of all the forces acting in Y axis direction is equal to 0. See here, the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now apply this equilibrium equation on that beam. So, VA is acting in the upward direction. Therefore, plus VA. Next, VC is also acting in the upward direction. Therefore, plus VC. Okay. Next, see W is acting in the downward direction. Therefore, minus W equal to 0. Therefore, VA plus VC equal to W. VA plus VC equal to W. Now, there is third equilibrium equation that is nothing but sigma M about any point is equal to 0. See here, about any point means, see here, I am taking about the support A. Okay. I am taking about the support A. See, you can also take about support C also. Okay. You see, if you take about point B, if you take moments about point B, see, neither of the forces we cannot make 0. VA cannot be 0, VC cannot be 0. See, for example, if you want to find out VA, apply sigma MC equal to 0. If you want to find out VC, apply sigma MA equal to 0. So, here I am applying sum of all the moments about point A equal to 0. See, uh, regarding this moment, we have already discussed that all clockwise moments are positive and all anti-clockwise moments are negative. So, apply this equilibrium equation on that beam. See, this HA and VA are already passing through point A. Therefore, you cannot find out the moments for this two reactions nothing but 0 VA into 0 
plus h a into 0 because the perpendicular distance is 0. We know that moment equal to force into perpendicular distance. Therefore, here the perpendicular distances are 0. Therefore, h a and v a will become 0. See, next, see for v c, v c, see v c is at a distance of l from point a and see it is producing which type of moment about point a, it is producing a anti-clockwise moment. Therefore, minus v c into l minus v c into l okay next see this w is produced this is at a distance of l by 2 from point a this is producing which type of moment clockwise moment about point a therefore plus w into l by 2 equal to 0 okay so here l and l will get cancelled therefore v c equal to w by now substitute this vc value in this equation va plus vc equal to w substitute this value in this equation therefore va will also become w by 2 therefore both the support reactions are w by 2 and w by 2 so this is the step 1 calculation of support reactions next there is step 2 step 2 is nothing but equations for shear force and bending moment equations for shear force and bending moment see va value is already calculated it is nothing but w by 2 vc value is also calculated that is nothing but w by 2 okay and ha value is already calculated that is nothing but equal to 0 okay so here now we will see how to develop equations for shear force and bending moment see for finding out equations for shear force and bending moment first we need to take a section in between a b this is the nothing but section x x i am taking this section at a distance of x from point a okay see now i am writing that portion separately okay. part a b now i am writing part a b separately this is nothing but section x x and here it is nothing but V A equal to W by 2. Here no need to write H A because H A is equal to 0. Okay. And this section is at a distance of X from point A. Okay. See, for left side sections there is a sign convention and for right side sections also there is a sign convention. I am writing it down here. Okay. See, for sections left side this is the sign convection this is nothing but mx and this is nothing but sx and for sections right side there is a sign convention this is nothing but mx and this upward force is nothing but sx okay this is for left portion and this is for right portion of the section so here this portion is nothing but left side of the section xx left side of the section xx therefore you can use this sign convention sx is downwards and mx is in anti clockwise direction okay now you can apply here again equilibrium equations because each and every part of the beam is under equilibrium each and every portion of the beam is under equilibrium therefore apply sigma y equal to 0. See here you cannot apply sigma x equal to 0 because here there are no horizontal forces. Then how we can apply sigma x equal to 0? Here vertical forces are there. Therefore, we will apply sigma y equal to 0 in this uh, equation. Okay. So, see VA. VA is acting in upward direction. See we know that for sigma y equal to 0, upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. Therefore, apply this equation. W by 2 plus W by 2 See, Sx is acting in the downward direction. Therefore, minus Sx equal to 0. Therefore, Sx equal to W by 2. Okay. Next, apply sigma m xx equal to 0. Okay. See, regarding this moment, we already studied. All the clockwise moments are positive and all the anti-clockwise moments are negative. Here, I am taking moments about section xx. See, anyway, Sx is passing through this section only. This Sx is passing through this section Xx only. Therefore, perpendicular distance is 0. Therefore, the moment produced by this Sx 
at this section x x is 0 therefore no need to write the moment for s x now we will write the moment for this v a ok see v a is nothing but w by 2 w by 2 into the perpendicular distance is x from the here to here the perpendicular distance is x and this is producing which type of moment clockwise moment therefore plus w by 2 into x next see this moment it is producing which type of moment here mx it is producing anti clockwise moment therefore minus mx equal to 0 therefore the final equation is mx equal to w by 2 into x see these two equations are valid between 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l by 2 ok this section xx is valid only between a to b only a to b only see because here another load is coming therefore this section xx is valid between a and b only ok see sx value is constant throughout the section throughout that part a b next coming to this mx at x equal to 0 because this is valid between 0 less than x less than or equal to l by 2 at x equal to 0 substitute mx value mx equal to w by 2 into 0 therefore it is 0 next at x equal to l by 2 mx value is nothing but w by 2 into now substitute l by 2 in the place of x into l by 2 nothing but w l by 4 ok now we will draw sfd and bmd for the portion ab ok so first we will draw sfd see in the portion 0 to l by 2 the value of sx is completely constant that is the value is w by 2 which is a positive value all the positive values will be drawn above the reference line and all the negative points will be drawn below the reference line so therefore the value is w by 2 which is positive ok ok next we will draw the bending moment diagram for part a b see for part a b at x equal to 0 the mx value is 0 therefore at this point a the value is 0 next see at x equal to l by 2 that is at the center mx value is w l by 4 ok particularly plus w l by 4 therefore the point has to be represented above the reference line above the reference line so this value is w l by 4 now the question arises how to join these two points see here the power of x is 1 here the power of x is 1 therefore from mathematics you know if x power 1 means it is a straight line x power 2 means it is a parabola x power 3 means it is a cubic parabola therefore since here it is x power 1 therefore we can draw these two we can join these two points with a straight line with a straight line and the value is positive ok so this is for part a b similarly we need to solve for part c b also part c b ok next we will solve for part c b see for pa solving part c b you can take the section x x from point a or also from point c ok taking the section x x from this point c is very simple as compared to taking the section from point A. Therefore, here I am taking the section xx at a distance of x. See, if I take the same section from point A at a distance of x, you need to solve another additional force or another additional load W including this VA. Here you will see two reactions. One is VA and the other load is W. But if you take the section from this point C, you need to solve only VC. Okay. Therefore, our workload will get decreased. Okay. So that's why here I have taken section access from point C. Okay. So this is the actual beam. This is nothing but VC. VC value is W by 2. And this is the section XX at a distance of X. Okay. See, now you see this portion of the beam is right side of section xx right side of section xx previously we have seen the sign conventions 
if the sex if the portion of the beam is right side of x x x x s x will be acting in the upward direction and m x will be acting in the clockwise direction okay now see this portion of the beam is under equilibrium now you can apply the equilibrium equations sigma y equal to 0 so all the upward forces are positive and all the downward forces are negative see here what are the upward forces s x is acting upwards next v c is also acting upwards v c is nothing but plus w by 2 that implies s x equal to minus w by 2 see here you cannot apply sigma x equal to 0 because there are no horizontal forces in this beam next apply sigma m about section x x equal to 0 see anyway s x is passing through the same section x x therefore it cannot produce any bending moment therefore see this m x is producing which type of moment clockwise moment so plus m x next see this v c is producing which type of moment about x x anti clockwise moment therefore minus v c into x v c value is w by 2 therefore minus w by 2 into x equal to 0 therefore m x equal to w by 2 into x see this equation is valid between 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l by 2 see this section x x is valid from point c to point b only therefore there the distance is 0 and up to here it is nothing but center of the beam therefore the equation is valid between 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to l by 2 ok now see at x equal to 0 we will find out mx value nothing but w by 2 into in the place of x you substitute 0 therefore it is 0 ok next at x equal to l by 2 find out mx value so mx equal to w by 2 into here the value of x is l by 2 so nothing but w l by 4 ok now draw sfd and bmd <coughs> see for drawing bm sfd sx value got minus w by 2 therefore the value should be represented below the reference line below the reference line though this is w by 2 which is negative negative therefore join these two points this point and this point with a straight line okay so upside is plus w by 2 bottom side is minus w by 2 next see at x equal to 0 mx value is 0 therefore at this point the value of bending moment is 0 okay next at x equal to l by 2 the value of bending moment is w l by 4 which is already represented then how to join these two points see here what is the power of x it is 1 therefore you know that x power 1 means it is a straight line okay now see here the value is the value uh, sign of w l by 4 it is a positive sign therefore plus okay now we have completed the sfd and bmd for a singly support beam subjected to point load at the center of the beam